Okay, so I am back in uh, beautiful southern Western Australia. Uh, I don't know if you've seen or what video would have come out first, but I've been down here for two days now and I uh, just tried to go surfing and I say try, my car was cruelly uh, not allowed through, when I say not allowed, couldn't get through the puddles and the holes. So maybe time for an upgrade there, but it is starting to get really nice with the light. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to start taking some photos in what this place is called Greens Pool and Lights Beach, which is down there. So we're gonna kind of make our way up and down the coast. I say we, just me, up and down the coast, trying to find some photos. I might snap a few on the Sony, which is a bit wider, but this is the kind of view we're working with to start. Uh, I'm gonna get back in the car, start driving down, but uh, welcome along, hope you enjoy. I'm gonna be shooting on the X100F a bit and the A7 III when I can, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping the light stays quite muted like it is now. It is meant to clear up for sunset, but you know, that never happens. So yeah, welcome along. So as I mentioned, unfortunately the, uh, the Forester was unable to get through a few dips in the road. So I've got some unfortunately dry surfboards. Um, this spot is pretty wide for the 100F, so I'm gonna see what I can do, but um, probably won't stay here too much longer. Already this light's looking beautiful. I'm just snapping away, getting warmed up. Um, there's some really nice waves out there. Shocked, because I didn't get any of them. I kind of like the, the photos where you've got a really wide scene and just like a little peak in it. So hopefully got a few just then. But uh, yeah, this light's looking really beautiful. So hopefully it stays like this. One of the perks of traveling solo is that I can really stretch out over the car. I've got my back right seat here is a, a gear stash, but uh, yeah, I acquired this new lens and I don't actually have enough room in the bag. So um, yeah, got too much stuff. So here in this shot, one awesome thing I'm seeing is uh, this wicked leading line with the railing towards some subjects who look like some daredevils swimming in this weather, but it's a really nice shot, I think, if it comes out that good, particularly portrait mode. Definitely uh, get used to that line a lot more. This is seriously such a awesome spot. Um, it's just rugged and rough. I think, um, I hope, sorry, that the photos get that kind of energy. And I know photos don't always have energy, but you know, something to say. There are some people down there, it would be awesome to photograph, but um, they're just not in the best spots. So that's something that does get to me a bit, but with this sun out, it's actually getting extremely hot. So I might take this quarter zip off actually. to the scary reality that the X100F is running out of battery. And that is one of the pitfalls of this camera. I'm gonna maybe rush back to the car, fill, uh, and you know, plug it in. Otherwise, see if I can squeeze in elephant rocks real quick. The damn smallest crowd, but the heart speaks loud. Far from ever feeling lost with me. So this is a magical place. Shit. Um, pretty sketch, but it's dry, so we're good. Um, I really love the, uh, the frames that you can actually capture here. There's a dude down here, just in my photo, which looks sick.
I'm just on the uh, Sony now because uh, my Fuji ran out of battery, but um, it's actually great because it's actually hell wide compared to the X100F. So if I flip this around, this is the uh, the setup, and then this is our kind of view. I'm gonna try and get a few wide angle landscapes of this. I'm instantly noticing the benefits of having this wide angle lens. Um, the Fujifilm definitely would not have been able to get what I'm getting right now, so hopefully they're looking pretty good. I am really stoked I invested in a decent iPhone that can do good video because, yeah, camera's running out of batteries. Not the Fuji's fault, definitely my fault, but I'm really glad with the shots I got. I'm gonna carry on back to the car and see what more I can find, you know, further down uh, towards Lights Beach. Okay, so I've just made it back to the car with a flat battery. The camera, not the car, thankfully. Um, but I'm really hoping, I picked up this new kind of charging thing. So I'm gonna see if I can find a cord in here and, uh, you know, charge up the Fuji. But otherwise, I'm gonna get back on the road and start making my way to a place called Lights Beach. Okay, so I thought this would be a worthwhile spot stopping. I don't know if y'all can see, we got a little friend over there. I'm super quiet to hopefully not scare away our little friend here. Okay, so unfortunately the sun has uh, pretty much dipped behind a big storm cloud, so we don't really have much of a sunset to film, but I'm really glad we hung around here because I got some a few photos along the way, and I know that if I tried driving all the way over there, I definitely wouldn't have made anything, but uh, look, this was a really fun trip. It's a shame about the batteries and the light, but that is kind of what we do this for. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll definitely be sure to bring along extra batteries next time. But uh, if you did, let me know. And also if you like the photos, more importantly, let me know that too. But otherwise, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in another video.